It struck onto the ground, but no smoke or dust was produced. However, an expert in an underground stone hall released an angry roar, doing everything it could to resist. Inside the stone room, that creature fell on his back. Meanwhile in the sky, that hand was also cut apart by mysterious natural laws, falling down, smashing into the depths of the earth. Soon after, that strand of immortal energy became a bit thicker, now carrying more immortal characteristics. His own body was also being cleansed, the feeling extremely comfortable, if I cultivate here, it will definitely be an unimaginably great natural luck. Shahal was inwardly shaken, all of you can leave. Someone spoke up in front of the natural crater, his voice cold without the slightest human emotion. There were many creatures here, all of them exceptional talents from different clans. They were extremely powerful. They turned around at the same time. A young man walked over, in his hands a dark red halberd. His blade carried beads of blood, releasing a world-shocking wave of killing energy that made everyone here tremble. Who was this person? They were all horrified. At the bottom of the natural crater, there were over a thousand experts, and there were even more further out. However, they were all shocked by this cold killing intent. The dark red halberd seemed to have slaughtered tens of millions of creatures, he is Heavenly Country's most powerful inheritor's younger brother, the sex number two assassin in the young generation, second only to his older brother. When this sentence was spoken, everyone sucked in a cold breath of air, their bodies going cold. They all felt extremely afraid. Heavenly Country was the higher realm's most terrifying organization. Once targeted by them, even if your magical force was heaven overflowing, there was still no way to stop their repeated assassinations. The most powerful inheritor of this generation in heavenly country, just based on his true strength, was comparable to Immortal Palace, Fallen Deity Ridge, and others' most powerful disciples, powerful to a ridiculous extent, possessing an unmatched attitude. In the distance, the little rabbit was truly angered, muttering, too unbridled. It was Shahao who discovered and excavated it, yet he dares to force away others so domineeringly. Of course, she wasn't worried for Shahao, because that fella was extremely strong, and he already went down, truly bossy and domineering. Isn't he an assassin? He actually dares to reveal himself. Too insolent. Ching Yi also spoke out, isn't he just relying on his older brother, the one known as the number one assassin? The little rabbit was furious as well. Cao Yuxing's expression was grave. He carefully observed his surroundings and said, heavenly country's number one assassin, someone even the ancient freaks fear. That person is too dangerous. He felt like that person might come, that he was nearby. Heavenly country was going to occupy this place, no harm. Shahal will cut them all down soon. The divine striking stone said, feeling great confidence in Shahal, that isn't the most terrifying part. The most worrisome thing is that it was rumored that heavenly country also has an ancient freak, an individual terrifying to the extreme. If he wanted to kill someone, even Ning Chuan or Ten Crown King would have to be serious. Cao Yuxing said, if that person truly exists, then that really would be bad. It would be too terrifying. Qing Yi's expression changed, did you all not hear me? Xue Ji was merciless. He then disappeared again. Poo-poo sounds rang out continuously, and then numerous miserable cries sounded inside the natural crater. They were mysteriously assassinated, heads tumbled onto the ground, the space between their brows splitting apart, leaving behind a ground of corpses. Many people backed up in retreat, their bodies shivering with coldness. As allies, there is our share of natural luck here as well. Suddenly, a voice sounded. A silver-colored cat that was less than half a meter in length walked over. Its fur was silvery white like silk fabric, moving through the void slowly. Right at this moment, a group of people suffered disaster, torn apart by a silver-colored enormous claw, turning into a bloody mist. All of you, just get lost. Also, you by the stone room, get out here as well. If you don't want to die, immediately leave this place. The silver cat spoke in a somewhat lazy manner. This, could this be an ancient freak? It was too surly and unreasoning. It is a cat raised by an ancient freak, its power extremely great. This isn't the first time it entered immortal ancient. Someone said softly a cat raised by an ancient freak. Many cultivators didn't dare believe that this powerful vicious beast wasn't the overlord of an area nor a young supreme being, just a pet. This was incomparably absurd, difficult for one to accept. It was just too inconceivable. Even though many of them felt stupefied, they also felt a type of fear, their faces becoming ugly. Even the cat that an ancient freak raised was so powerful, incomparable, 
giving them a sense of complete defeat, grief, and dismay. It dealt a huge blow to their confidence, didn't hear what I said. The silver cat turned around, staring at the group of stupefied creatures. It narrowed its eyes, and then began to slowly move about. A huala sounded. A large group of the people in the natural crater moved, retreating. If even a cat was like this, when the true master came, what would it be like then? No one dared to imagine what would happen. Perhaps, if that ancient freak appeared, just a finger alone would be able to massacre the group of experts. The difference in strength was just too great, it was as different as sky and earth you all are too slow. The silver cat stood on a large blue stone, raising its head. Even its eyes were silver, shining like two small suns, glistening and dazzling. When the group that left the latest heard this, they all trembled in fear, hurriedly rushing into the sky, frantically escaping. Meow, the silver cat released a low cry. One could clearly see that silver-colored symbols were being released from its mouth, spreading out into the air-like ripples. A group of people cried out miserably in mid-air. Poo-poo sounds rang out continuously. The bodies of more than ten creatures who weren't that weak cracked apart, blood covering them as they fell from the sky, run. There were still several dozen individuals who were coughing out blood. They quickly rushed to the sky, not even daring to turn around, leaving behind quite a bit of blood in the air. The cultivators on the scene were all terrified. Those people were only a step late, yet they encountered such a bloody disaster, it was truly quite wrong. This silver cat was powerful and terrifying to a ridiculous level. It was completely fearless, taking action as it pleased. Not one could stop it, it seems like I haven't killed enough. The things I said were similar, but there were some who wanted to retaliate, and quite a few people who didn't move. On the other side, Chueji spoke. His long hair scattered out behind him, his body carrying a murderous aura. In his hands was a dark red great halberd. He aimed it at everyone here, let's go. There's no hope. He is so merciless, all for the sake of intimidation, already expressing his resoluteness. Heavenly country is going to occupy this place, not allowing anyone else to step foot inside. Someone released a sigh, let's wait a bit longer. Someone said softly. There was still one person who hadn't come up after being threatened, so perhaps a few things might happen. In the distance, the little rabbit was extremely angry, carefully watching the situation with Ching Yi and Cao Yusheng. They were searching for the hiding number one expert's energy, wishing to know if he really did come, he most likely has. Cao Yusheng said, sensing something inwardly, I really hope the owner of that silver cat doesn't appear. Ching Yi said, An immortal body had just appeared. If several exceptional great experts appeared right off the bat, then the consequences would be terrifying, still not coming up, are you waiting for me to come and ask you nicely? Shueji stood in the natural crater, staring downwards with an extremely cold expression. The dark red halberd aimed downwards, meow, since that is the case, don't bother coming up. The silver cat said, let me. Shueji said. He wanted to be the first to move. The halberd in his hand stabbed towards the depths of the earth, releasing a dazzling cutting edge. He revealed a slight cruel smile. He didn't have to expend a great deal of effort. As long as he provoked that immortal corpse, causing it to release divine force, the person below would immediately die. Who cares if he is powerful or not? Shahao sat there, currently absorbing the immortal Dao energy. His entire body was incomparably comfortable. The strand of immortal energy he cultivated shone with sparkling light, clearly becoming thicker. A streak of bloody light shot over, rushing at the immortal corpse, as well as at him. Shahao suddenly opened his eyes. He raised his hand, facing that bloody light. He himself also immediately rushed upwards. The bloody radiance was destroyed, brilliant like fireworks between his palms and fingers, but still unable to tear into his flesh. It quickly disappeared without a trace. At the same time, Shahao left the bottom of the earth, arriving at the surface, now only a few jong away from Shueji. Shueji's expression changed. This kind of person far exceeded his expectations. He knew that he had encountered a huge trouble. When he saw the mist scatter from this person's body, he was even more shocked, it's, you. He recognized Shahao, because this person was Heavenly Country's target. They had always wanted to kill him, yet in the end, they lost several outstanding deities, all of them defeated, Huang. He released a low roar, decisively backing up, disappearing from this place. However, immediately afterwards, that figure flickered, breaking the void, pressing forward with his palm. 
Shueji was greatly alarmed, blasted out. He hurriedly used the great halberd to defend himself. The great halberd had another part of it broken, once again destroyed by Shahao's hand. This scene left many people shocked. The insufferably arrogant Heavenly Country No. 2 assassin was completely no match, going to risk it all. Shueji disappeared into thin air. The damaged halberd continuously released radiance, and a strange type of symbols accompanied it, as if it could refine the void. Shahao stood in his original place, his two legs not moving. Only his arms and hands continuously slapped out. However, in the end, each time they collided with that halberd, there would always be a piece of metal that came off. Everyone was shocked. This was just too powerful. That person stood there without moving like a demonic volcano, powerful to the extreme. His divine might was inviolable. Have you had enough? Shahao asked. With a dawn sound, his palm slapped out. All types of symbols collapsed. The final part of the halberd turned into metal pieces, falling from the sky. Shahao's arm reached out, dragging a person from the void. It was precisely Shueji, his neck in Shahao's grip. Everyone widened their eyes, their fine hair standing on end. How powerful was Shueji? He was an incomparably tyrannical individual, yet right now, he was being carried like a chick, his arms and legs struggling about, will you be able to leave? Shahao swept his eyes over to that silver cat on the side. It was currently trying to sneakily leave. In reality, it had already turned around, wishing to escape the moment Shahao broke free. However, a powerful divine was still locked it in place. If it moved, it would definitely suffer a thunderous attack. It couldn't take this pressure anymore, deciding to risk its life to escape. It brandished its claws, wishing to forcefully tear apart the void to escape. A large hand descended, cutting off the path. It hurriedly backed up. At the same time, Shahao saw a hint of ruthlessness and coldness. He silently sensed about, realizing something. The terrifying individual known as the number one assassin should have arrived as well come then. I heard that your strength alone isn't weaker than immortal palace inheritors. Let me take a look at your methods. Shahao said, speaking into the void. When Shueji heard this, his mind was thrown into disorder. He was waiting for his older brother's sky shocking strike that would cut down Huang, but when he saw how calm Huang was, he immediately felt uncertain, not going to come out. Shahao's expression was cold. He flung Shueji into the air, and then he pointed out with a finger. Following a peng sound, a small half of his body was blasted apart, turning into a bloody mist Shueji released a groan through clenched teeth, his head covered in cold sweat. The intense pain made his face pale, still not coming to fight. If you still don't come out, then your little brother will lose his life. Shahao's voice was calm. He raised his hand again. However, there were no fluctuations in the void. That person didn't appear. His finger pointed out. Shueji's body broke apart inch by inch. A bloody mist pervaded the air. He roared outwards, eyes full of despair. Shueji lost his life, body and spirit erased. This place was completely silent. Everyone shivered inwardly. Heavenly Country's number two assassin was killed just like that. Huang was just too powerful. Now that they were seeing him with their own eyes, they felt that he was even more heroic. Everyone knew that Heavenly Country's number one assassin definitely wouldn't let things end like this. He was definitely going to release the most terrifying assault, if I didn't see incorrectly, you should be the rarest gold-marked white tiger, right? Stop trying to cover things up. Did your master come? Shahao asked, looking towards that silver-colored creature. This wasn't a cat, but a legendary gold-marked white tiger it can't be, right? The legendary white tiger lord's killing methods are the most terrifying, each generation more powerful than the last. Meanwhile, the one with golden patterns on its back is even a king race. Many people were shocked. How powerful was the white tiger? It was one of the world's most vicious races. This clan's ancestor dared to challenge the true dragon, its vicious name world shaking. The silver cat backed up, its fur shining, as if a layer of stellar splendor covered its body, the light able to reflect its surroundings. Every single hair was sparkling and releasing brilliant light. An expanse of symbols formed, about to appear from its body. A terrifying aura pervaded the air. It was going to risk it all. Suddenly, Shahao's expression changed. He left behind a spiritual body, and his true body disappeared from this place. In his hands was the exceptional immortal sword. It hacked through the void, divine light shining in tens of thousands of streaks. 
Lightning erupted endlessly as he moved quickly. After who knew how many Lee, a black-colored peak exploded, turned into broken pieces with a single strike. Countless great cracks appeared on the great earth, extending in all directions. You really are quite good at restraining yourself. Shahal released a light sigh. Someone used a realm-shattering symbol to leave this place. Even though he sensed something, it was too late to chase after that person. He hacked open the void with the sword core, but that person still left. That was, without a doubt, Heavenly Country's number one assassin. Immediately afterwards, he disappeared from this place, quickly returning to the natural crater. That gold-marked white tiger displayed its viciousness, wishing to escape, but it was stopped by his spiritual body. With a shua sound, Shahal merged with his true body, the two combining. The gold-marked white tiger's eyes were deep. It continuously took steps backwards, feeling that the situation wasn't good. Now, not only this white tiger, but everyone knew that Huang had just left to pursue Heavenly Country's number one assassin. He was powerful to a shocking degree, truly quite the character, indifferent even towards his own younger brother's death, leaving like this. Shahal said with a sigh. When this sentence was spoken, everyone shivered inwardly. Heavenly Country's number one assassin actually gave up on Shahal, directly leaving, clearly not feeling any certainty. Otherwise, he definitely wouldn't have acted like this, this person is extremely terrifying. Ching Yi frowned. He didn't even care that his own blood brother died before his eyes, coldly and decisively backing off. This person was worthy of his reputation of being from heavenly country, a king who walked in darkness, there's trouble. This person is ruthless and vicious and so patient. Once he takes action, it will definitely be a thunderous and fatal strike. Cao Yuxing's expression became grave. Heavenly Country's number one assassin, known as one of the higher realm's most terrifying young supreme beings, his true strength comparable to immortal palace inheritor, yet he didn't attack from the front, always using hidden attacks. Who could stop him? He was one of the 3,000 realm's most terrifying youngsters. No one dared to provoke him, because being targeted by him meant death. There was no chance for life. Ancient freaks all felt restraining fear towards him, because there was no way they would always be vigilant. Everyone had times when they would display carelessness, and once he grasped that opportunity, cold blade radiance would illuminate ten provinces, blood splashing over heaven and earth, I come from the divine temple. The gold-marked white tiger said, its silver pupils flickering, still backing up. Divine temple. Everyone sucked in a cold breath of air. Its background was indeed terrifying. That was an ancient temple, an ancient inheritance comparable to immortal palace and supreme hall, and... Shahal wasn't worried in the slightest, walking forward step by step. I do not wish to become enemies with you, hoping that we can just part like this. The gold-marked white tiger said, its voice overcast, I've cultivated the martial Dao heavenly eye. The hatred and resentfulness within the depths of your eyes cannot hide from me. If I let you go, that is just a disaster waiting to happen. It's better to just kill you to simplify things. Shahal calmly said. If he left this gold-marked white tiger alive, it would definitely ask its master to take action. There will be a battle sooner or later. Moreover, when Shahal had been surrounded by eight exceptional talents, he had killed a lion from Divine Temple. So he didn't mind killing a rare white tiger as well, Ancient Holy Child is about to take that step. There is an 80% chance of success. The gold-marked white tiger said, staring into Shahal's pupils. It raised its head. While speaking this, it was full of confidence, feeling pride for ancient holy child, as well as a sense of intimidating all enemies in the world. In the surroundings, all of the creatures here sucked in cold breaths of air. Taking the final step. How many heavenly talents from past to present have strived to accomplish this, but ultimately nursed regrets, dying along the way? Divine Temple was an incomparably shocking inheritance. This inheritance coexisted with the world, grasping nine heavens' tenth earth scriptures. It was known as a supreme inheritance, an unmatched heavenly art. Ancient Holy Child was precisely this sex ancient freak, his cultivation making him unmatched among cultivators of the same level, shocking past and present. No one could face him, since he is about to succeed, who else could even match him? A few people trembled, finding this inconceivable. So far, everyone only knew that Ten Crown King succeeded, and Ning Chuan seemed to have produced immortal Dao energy, only, it hasn't been confirmed yet. Now, another, the ancient holy child was added. Everyone was feeling great fear, indescribably shaken. Many people looked towards Huang. 
Even though he was powerful, if he didn't take that step, he would undoubtedly be in danger. The death of someone as stunning as him would truly be too much of a pity. This wasn't the first time Shahal heard about ancient holy child. He had previously heard about him from the lion in Silver Polish Mountain, knowing a bit. He was incomparably calm. I'll wait for him to take that step then. If he doesn't know right from wrong, then let him come look for me, you. The gold-marked white tiger took steps backwards, feeling shock, as well as a wave of fear. This person was clearly about to take action. Ancient Holy Child's name couldn't stop him. As for the others, they were all greatly moved. Huang was truly too tyrannical. Only, once he took action here, there was likely no way for those two parties to have any kind relations. If Ancient Holy Child came here, how was he supposed to withstand his power? Ancient Holy Child is about to come out of isolation. You have to properly think things through. The gold-marked white tiger said with a heavy voice, its eyes deep. It already had no way out. It didn't plan on lowering its head. I already said that if he wants to come, then he should just do it. Shahal reached out a hand, grabbing forward, the gold-marked white tiger released a long roar. Its body became large like a small mountain. Silver light burned like flames. There were also streaks of golden patterns that interweaved over its body. It brandished its claws. Chaotic energy immediately pervaded the air. This was incomparably shocking, incredibly powerful. It was actually like this, displaying primal chaos. Shahal slapped out, colliding with that white tiger claw. Ear-splitting Qingqiang sounds rang through the air. This white tiger's claws were just too tough and sharp, unexpectedly being unharmed. If it was anyone else that clashed head-on with the current Shahao, their flesh would definitely explode. There was no way they would still be alive. After all, he cultivated a strand of immortal energy, it seems like the rumors were true. That ancient holy child had previously discovered a primal chaos pool, inside of which was some mysterious liquid. He smeared it over his body, allowing his flesh to become powerful to the extreme. Cao Yusheng said. Based on what he said, this gold-marked white tiger's claws definitely had that liquid applied on them as well. There's this kind of heaven-defying thing. The little rabbit's large eyes blinked, as she cried out noisily with ao ao sounds. Why wasn't she the one that encountered this type of opportunity? This immortal ancient has many natural luck waiting to be discovered. Who knows, we might also be able to encounter something formidable and mysterious. Cao Yusheng said sparks flew in all directions. The gold-marked white tiger was shocked. Its incomparably sharp claws were an intense pain, as if they were going to break, yet the other party's face remained unchanged, Alho, the white tiger roared, shaking heaven and earth, the sky about to collapse from the sound. The golden patterns on its back became resplendent, all of them lightening up. They formed a web, surrounding Shahal. Unfortunately, when the golden patterns appeared in the void, it was blasted apart by a slap from Shahal, unable to harm him in the slightest. The gold-marked white tiger's expression changed. One of its claws that had been soaked in the chaotic pond's mysterious liquid broke, directly blasted apart by the other party. He was powerful to a terrifying degree, making it feel incredible fear. Could it be that he took that step, even before ancient holy child? When it thought of this possibility, the gold-marked white tiger trembled, all of its confidence vanishing. After a final roar, an expanse of blood erupted. It ignited its own body with a secret method, turning around to leave. It wanted to escape. Stop wasting your essence blood, it'll ruin the quality of the meat. Shahal spoke. A large hand dropped down, covering it, completely capturing it. Everyone was stunned. The gold-marked white tiger was even more furious. What kind of words were these? It was going to be turned into food. The gold-marked white tiger was captured and killed without any suspense. This divine temple holy beast, who had previously terrified, and killed many exceptional talents, was captured by Shahal and turned into food. Even after a long time had passed, this place was still extremely quiet. Everyone was intimidated by his might, Huang's reputation, is not in vain as expected, scaring away Heavenly Country's number one assassin, killing ancient holy child's holy beast, is he going to pierce the heavens the storm is brewing, there will definitely be an exceptionally great battle. After who knew how much time had passed, everyone began to discuss among themselves again. The natural crater was full of noise. Right now, Shahal was studying this place with Cao Yusheng and Qing Yi, trying to figure out a way to collect this immortal corpse. It was extremely troublesome. This thing was too exceptional, with a single mistake harming themselves, 
we definitely cannot directly bring it away. This thing cannot be touched. We'll just dig out this entire stone room, leaving it untouched. The divine striking stone said, this is the only thing we can do. Ching Yi also nodded, I feel like there's something wrong. While cultivating there, I would occasionally feel some strangeness. Also, there were others who discovered this immortal body, but ultimately decided not to touch it. Shahao said, let me take a look through your heavenly eyes. The divine striking stone said. Shahao grabbed it, transmitting everything he saw to it. Within that stone room, only the space the immortal corpse rested on couldn't be seen through. Everything else was visible with the martial Dao heavenly eye. There really is some strangeness. There is a strange ancient formation set up around that immortal corpse, but it doesn't seem to be a harmful one. The divine striking stone was shocked. It looked like simple stone, but from what the divine striking stone said, there should be an ancient formation. It was quite unordinary. Even though it was pretty much corroded, some of its efficacy still remained. In the end, the divine striking stone took action, arranging a moving formation. They used up a large amount of divine materials before finally completing it. This formation was quite unordinary, able to transport the immortal corpse, but moving quite gently. It wouldn't touch upon its original power, able to safety bring it away from the stone room. This formation is the result of the sweat and blood of our predecessors. This kind of situation has likely been encountered before as well, said the divine striking stone. Before starting, they had everyone back off, not allowing them to stay near the natural crater. It was because if they failed, it might be extremely dangerous. Even they themselves stood by the nearby transport formation. If anything unexpected happened, they would immediately escape. A strange sound rang out from within the stone room. The immortal corpse did move in the end, but it didn't seem right. It seemed like something bad was about to happen there. The immortal corpse moved. A black pot suddenly appeared, unexpectedly cracked. Black-colored blood began to pour out from it, and then waves of black mists surged, go. They borrowed the transport formation to immediately leave this place, heavens. There was actually a pot there. What exactly is sealed inside of it? The little rabbit was reluctant to part, feeling great regret. However, they could only flee into the distance. That wave of energy was incredibly terrifying. The jar smashed open, dark light overflowing into the heavens. The black blood underground surged, it was incomparably horrifying, run. The others also screamed loudly, all of them running. While standing several tens of thousands of Li away, Shahao and the others turned around. They could still see the black light rushing into the heavens. At the same time, there was also immortal Dao energy that erupted, interweaving. After who knew how much time had passed, that place finally became peaceful again. Shahao and the others immediately returned. There were some others who hurried over as well, wishing to enter that stone room. However, when they saw Huang, their expressions changed, not daring to act recklessly. That is the pot was shattered, turning into broken pieces. Meanwhile, the black-colored blood also dried up, as if it was burnt. A small half of the immortal body remained. Auspicious light overflowed outwards, immortal mists pervading the air. Divine power fluctuated intensely, what a pity, a large half of the immortal corpse was destroyed. What else is sealed inside the pot? Cao Yuxing felt incomparable pain. We should be content with what we have. There is still a small half left. The divine striking stone spoke, surprisingly optimistic. It was clear that what was sealed was definitely formidable, making one's heart tremble, an unimaginable creature, but still ultimately sealed to death, turning into black blood. Now, it has been dissolved by the immortal corpse. Shahao frowned. This time, things went quite smoothly, carefully storing away the immortal corpse. There is, something else. Suddenly, the little rabbit said with a trembling voice, pointing towards the fine powder the black pot turned into. Shahao shivered inwardly. His martial Dao heavenly eye unexpectedly didn't even see through it. When a wind blew past and the ashes scattered, only then did he discover a piece of green-colored frontal bone, it's the sealed creature. There are still bones left over. Ching Yi said. Soon after, her expression changed. She couldn't help but take steps backwards, because that frontal bone was shaking, willow deity. Suddenly, Shahao cried out involuntarily, his body shaking. He saw the traces left behind by the willow deity, on that green frontal bone. There was that kind of aura, leaves. Golden willow leaves. The divine striking stone also cried out strangely.